All right, I just want to update you guys on what's going on. So Friday, I picked that up. I was going to post a video I took of it, but um, I'm just going to do this because if I try to spend a bunch of time editing and all that, it'll, it just seems like I'm, I'm never posting videos because I'm always wanting to like spend too much time editing them and make them real nice. So I'm just going to do this real quick, a little update, and then uh, post this, and then I'll just... I think post little uh, video clips here and there um, as I uh, progress. So, um, so yesterday uh, we got the car, the Porsche loaded in here, as you can see, the Cayman. Um, there's quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of room in here, um, actually. So, not quite enough room to, like, open the door enough to get in there, but, um, you can crack the door open slightly without it hitting down there, um, and, uh, I guess you could possibly squeeze in there, I don't know, but, anyway, if you roll it forward, it'll, uh, you can open the door enough to get in, actually, so... So we picked these up, got it strapped down. Um, this uh, this door here, it just uh, opens up like that. Pretty slick. So as you can see, the uh, the actual slope of this ramp is uh, pretty gradual. We didn't have any problem at all with uh, clearance on the front end or anything like that. There is even a little bit of taper between this point and this point um, going up um, inside of here. So, so yeah, I got it all strapped down. Noah took it, Noah and I took it for a, a test drive with the Odyssey minivan last night, actually. And um, it actually pulled it pretty well. It, had, it didn't struggle much as far as power goes. Um, the braking needs to be upgraded if we're actually going to use that at any point to to tow this. Um, his front brake rotors are warped, and there's no trailer brake system on the on the Odyssey. So so the electric brakes on the on the van or on the trailer doesn't work. Uh, if uh, there's no, you know, voltage coming off of the van to to uh, engage them when they're supposed to be engaged. So, I'll show you what I'm doing now. I have to work on the truck to get it, uh, get it going, so I'll show you that. Some more neglected vehicles here. More minor pickup and the 350Z. No, it's 350Z, but... Anyway, here's the truck, <clears throat> my dad's truck. Um, this is what I picked up the trailer with, but it was like 96 degrees out. <clears throat> and um, let me turn this fan off here. This exhaust fan to keep it cool. It's in the 90s right now here in Georgia and humid. And uh, it's not very comfortable, but <clears throat> anyway. Um, so this thing was overheating on the way back from uh, where I picked it up, three hours south of here in Georgia. And uh, it was like 96 degrees that day. So I need to, this is an old radiator. Um, you can see how, basically how thick it is right here. The core is even a little bit uh, thinner. So I bought this one off of eBay. Um, it's, it's supposed to be a pretty good uh, brand. As you can see, the core is way thicker and it's aluminum, solid aluminum. So the problem is that, as you can see, the filler neck and the uh, inlet and outlet tubes on this are oriented differently. So if I put this up here, you can see the filler necks over here on this side. On the truck, it's on that side. And the uh, the inlet tube or neck is over here on this side instead of over here. 
and so but the outlet the outlet neck down there is is where it's uh, supposed to be it's um in the same position you know down there so the uh the outlet is okay but um so i was thinking um what i'm gonna do is just buy some uh, some pipe from the hardware store normal like water pipe and create another uh neck here and then buy some more uh, radiator hose and just uh just plumb this in like this <clears throat> and uh so i can use this radiator so that's what i'm working on now um at first i was thinking i could uh relocate this neck by welding it over here but then i realized that the tanks are on the sides on the sides instead of on the top like this so so i have to leave these alone I just got to, you know, plumb, a, plumb the radiator hose over like that. So that's what I need to do in the next uh, four or five hours. Get that done. I was hoping to get the uh, air conditioning compressor changed and charged up, but I don't think I'll have time to do that. Um, I just have to uh, sweat it out <laughs> on my way to Charleston. So the idea is to get this running within the next couple hours and then head to Charleston tonight and then get the key program for the red Porsche Cayman that's in the trailer at the uh, the Porsche dealership there. So um, that's the plan. So yeah. So anyway, that's it for now. I'm going to post this and then I'll post some updates later. Bye.